All right, Alex. Well, during a typical school year, our 23 ABC chief meteorologist Elena Rusk makes dozens of appearances at Kern County Schools to talk about environmental science and promote both STEM education and literacy. But this year, science and Elena, they haven't been working the same way because of COVID-19, so she found a different way to bring her passion to students. Check it out. Hey, Kern County, welcome to our newest segment, Science Sundays Experiments with Elena Rusk. That's me. Now, as we know, our teachers have been working harder than ever, and I've been searching for a way to help them out. And then it dawned on me, why don't I take over the science lesson for the day? I get back into the classroom, which is one of my favorite parts of this job. And I get to give our teachers a little bit of a break and help provide some of their science curriculum. That idea has now blossomed into an incredible partnership with scientists all around Kern County. So every weekend, right here on our Sunday morning newscast, we'll show a science experiment or a demonstration with lessons geared towards students of all ages. The videos will then be available in full on our website for free for teachers teachers and homeschooling parents. So let us take the science lesson from here. This week's demonstration, how to build a stomp rocket with our friends at CRC. So to assemble the rocket, you need half inch PVC pipe. And the reason it's half inch is because that's what's going to fit exactly into a two liter bottle. So make sure it's exactly half inch PVC. Then you're going to wrap the first piece of paper around basically your test piece of pipe. These are kind of templates that you have on JPL's website, um, which is at the bottom as well. Um, and we're basically gonna cut one of these into a cone, and that's where the cone in the top comes from. And to do this, basically the middle of your flat side is gonna be your point, and wrap around until you have as tight a cone as you want. And then the same thing here, I'm just gonna put a piece of scotch tape over it And the last step is to do the fins. These are optional, but a lot of times they can help with stability. Um, so now I've got two rockets to test. Um, so I'm gonna set those to the side and I'll talk about the rocket launcher assembly. So this, like I said, is half inch PVC pipe and you can get this at any hardware store. Um, they'll also cut it for you if you don't have a saw. Total, you need about five feet of half inch PVC. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions um, and I'll show you kind of how it gets put together. Um, so all I'm gonna do is kind of put a tiny bit of the bottle um, on top of the pipe and make sure that I have a seal with some duct tape. Um, you can load your rocket and make sure again that it's loose and it's actually gonna take off. And when you're ready, jump on the bottle with both feet. So after you've launched it, when you're ready to do another launch, uh, make sure you have the same person doing it and just blow into the end to make sure you're reinflating the bottle. And you'll see that it reinflated, it's not cracked, so I can use this bottle again. And same thing, when I'm ready, I'm gonna jump on top with both feet. So you can see uh, both of my rockets had a kind of different action. So this one basically went straight up. This one with my trapezoid fins basically spun off to the side, um, but both of them went super high. Um, and this is kind of a reusable, so I can keep changing my design, adjusting my launcher um, to get kind of the effect that you want. Now, a full version of this episode is available for free on our website, turnit23.com, and it's there for teachers and parents to show their students this week. You'll see that link there to that JPL template, and there's also a link for students to use the scientific method to develop better, higher-flying paper rockets. We'll see you next week.